Hey, it's Gamori, and today we're going to talk about how I did the piping for my Kroll Tepes cosplay. Now, to be completely honest, this was a bit overkill for this costume. It would be a lot easier and faster to just sew some ribbon down the sides of the bodice and call it a day. However, when I was making this costume, I made it with the intention of entering it into a craftsmanship competition, so I wanted to go the extra mile and make sure all of the materials matched and to really give it an extra finishing touch. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Ideally for the piping I would have liked to use some matte satin, however because I had a very limited amount of that material and it was a discontinued fabric there was no way for me to get more. So instead, I used the red lining material so the colors would still match. And I did that by cutting a strip on the bias. As you can see, you can see the selvage there and it's at an angle. And I just cut it the length of the material that I had. And now we're going to cut it down to size based on the length that we need for the seam in the bodice. Next, fold the bias strip around a piece of cord and sew it into place. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on camera, but I did sew a line of stitching along where the seam is going to go onto the front of the bodice to give me a guideline for where to position the piping. I don't have a piping foot for my machine, so I sewed this using the invisible zipper foot and sewed the piping onto one side of the bodice and trimmed away the excess at the ends and also trimmed away some of the red fabric as well so that I could see easily the black fabric underneath. Then I sewed the other side of the bodice on and the piping is sandwiched in between the two layers and I'm using the invisible zipper foot again, and you can see there is a line at the beginning of the foot, and that is where the stitching is going to be. So I'm just lining that up with the previous stitching so that I don't accidentally end up sewing through the piping. And that's how I made the piping for Cruel's bodice. For more cosplay sewing tutorials, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching!